Hi, my name is Ed Zagorski from the ISU Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic, and today we're going to talk about sampling for soybean cyst nematode. Soybean cyst nematode is among the most important soybean pests in Iowa. Fields that should be considered for sampling of soybean cyst nematode or SCN are fields that have a history of SCN or where there's just something that's not quite right with the yield, as soybean cyst nematode can be present in the absence of any symptoms. Soybean cyst nematode samples can be taken throughout the year, however, the most important times to sample are in the spring and fall to prepare for the upcoming or following year's growing season. When sampling for SCN, you should try to sample areas no larger than 20 acres, and some high-risk areas to choose to sample are low spots, previously flooded areas, high pH soils, and fence rows. Using your soil probe, aim to collect the top 8 to 10 inches of soil, collecting 15 to 20 cores in your designated area. Make sure to sample your target area in a zigzag pattern in order to produce the most comprehensive analysis. When sampling in a soybean field, try to sample within the root zone. This is not important when sampling from a corn field. Place these cores in a five gallon bucket and mix thoroughly with the intent of collecting one to two cups of soil to submit as a sample. Try to keep these samples cool or under 80 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the process. Finally, some do's and don'ts of sampling for SCN are don't sample in muddy soils, don't sample in frozen soils, don't add moisture to any samples, and finally, ship overnight if possible. To have your soil sample analyzed for SCN, feel free to contact the ISU Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic.